Ingress at its core is a very simple concept. On the one hand, you have a computing platform where your services are deployed. On the other hand, there's a large set of services outside your environment that you want to allow to access those services in a secure, scalable, easy to manage way. The question is this, how do we make that happen in the real world? From the early days of Kubernetes, an Ingress API object has been supported. And it provides some basic load balancing, rudimentary routing rules, and TLS support. In other words, some of the foundational blocks of an API gateway. And that's all great as far as it goes, but what many enterprise class users quickly recognized was that a foundation was simply not enough. You wouldn't build an enterprise application network on a basic ingress object any more than you'd live in a house without walls or a roof. The Kubernetes platform needed something more. It needed a full-featured API gateway that included capabilities like rate limiting and advanced transformations and integration with identity management systems. In response to this vacuum, this, this unfinished ingress foundation, two basic approaches emerged. One approach was legacy vendors shoehorning their old-style monolithic gateway dinosaurs with their static configurations and their external databases into an ephemeral cloud-native architecture. The other approach was led by vendors like Solo.io that cut their teeth on cloud-native architectures. They built on foundations like Envoy Proxy, microservice architectures, expressing APIs as Kubernetes native resources, and leveraging cloud native storage technologies. And what most savvy users are discovering is that having a full featured API gateway built with a modern cloud native architecture is the way to go.